Well, they pay money for tickets, right? So they get Why the right. Why not enjoy it? <laughs> MTS Center. have heard that before. Smallest, smallest capacity in the National Hockey League, loudest, most raucous fans, and they've got the great chance. Who's your captain for the Sharks, obviously? Uh, when Ryan Miller showed up there after Canada beat the U.S. in the gold medal game, it was silver medal. <laughs> when Mario, when, when Sidney Crosby would play, they would chant Mario's pool boy. <laughs> when Ovechkin would show up, they'd say Sidney's better. And even Eric Stahl, I mean, Eric Stahl played and it was Jordan's better. At this point, it's like the NHL's answer to Cameron Indoor Stadium. TSN's Bob McKenzie, Mike Milbury, Liam McHugh, welcome to the Lex Intermission Report. That was the scene last night in Winnipeg. Jets fans mocking the lack of leadership within San Jose Sharks organization. So according to Sharks GM, though, Doug Wilson, Joe Thornton is staying in San Jose. Now, this despite the fact Wilson and Thornton engaged in a rather ugly spat last week. Here's the Cliff Notes version. Wilson told season ticket holders that Thornton's tendency to lash out while under pressure led to him being stripped of the captaincy. Thornton responded by telling a reporter that Wilson should shut his mouth and stop lying. So there was kind of a disagreement. They didn't really see eye to eye. Wilson says, however, that they have patched things up. This is a team that right now is on the outside looking in playoff-wise. Let's say they miss the playoffs. Wilson, Thornton, Todd McClellan. Any chance that all these guys are saying? Just before we get to you. You don't think it was right that Wilson said those things in, in a town hall meeting to a season ticket holder? It didn't seem like the right time to me. It was the end of the season. He Why said, not just let it go? He said it was something that he'd said before and that he was just answering a season ticket holder. But, I mean, it lit a fire and he said Joe had a tendency to lash out and Joe lashed out. Immediately after. So and I don't blame him. Looking, but looking forward. They say they patch things up. I don't know if people are buying that. But going forward, they miss the playoffs. What happens? Well, you got to think something's got to give. Now, at the end of last season, it's not just that they lost. It was how they lost. They had the 3-0 lead on the L.A. Kings. They blow it. That's almost unprecedented in the National Hockey League, but it happened. So everybody was waiting at the end of the season. Okay, the coach is going to get fired. Well, no, Todd McClellan didn't get fired. He actually got an extension. While the general manager got fired, no, Doug Wilson didn't get fired. And then they said, okay, well, there'll be a rebuilding here. They'll get rid of Joe Thornton and Patrick Morrow. Well, they've got no move clauses. They didn't want to go anywhere, so they don't go anywhere. If the same thing happens again to the extent, I mean, that they, now they miss the playoffs, something has to give. Now, Thornton's still got the no-move clause, and to this point in time, unless he does a 180, he doesn't want to leave, isn't prepared to leave, and that leaves either the general manager to fire the coach or the owner to fire the general manager, and I couldn't begin to tell you what owner Hasso Platner has planned, but I just can't imagine that if the Sharks are on the outside looking in, they say at the end, come on back and buy tickets for next year, nothing's going to change. It's all change. the same. Yeah, this well, is the most successful, unsuccessful franchise really in history. Yeah. You know, it just, the expectations were so high. I mean, Joe Thornton, 36th in points all time, and there's only a handful of guys ahead of him on that list that aren't on the Hall of Fame, some of whom haven't even been allowed to be inducted into it. Patrick Morrow has gaudy statistics. Mm -hmm. Todd McClellan, great stuff. Uh, Doug Wilson, good stuff from him. But it seems rotten at the core, doesn't it? it well, seems the, what like, do you do at this point? Take a motion out of it. Someone else goes in there. What should happen? Well, 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 what will happen, I think, and the owner has to take some action. Does he want to patch this up and go back at it again? It's been a long time with Joe Thornton. It's been a long time with Doug Wilson and, and, and with Todd McClain, or McClellan, too. So something has to give if your goal is to win the Stanley Cup. It seems like there's a flaw there. It's got to be the manager, I think, or Joe Thornton. Don't tell me you can't get rid of Thornton. It's just pain sending him to the minor leagues at $7 million well, I, a year. I don't think is that the answer? No. Nobody wants to answer it that way. But do you talk it's to Thornton? It's not like he's not say, productive. No, it's not like he's not productive, but they, when you don't make the playoffs and you're, you're spending uh, like $14 million on Marlowe and Thornton, don't right, you but think you know some what? changes have to be made? I think the narrative, though, has always been Thornton, Marlowe, Thornton, Marlowe, Thornton, Marlowe. And they, you've got to talk about Couture, you've got to talk about Pavelski, you've talked about Burns, Vlasic. There are more players on this team that are part of the group that hasn't been successful than just those two guys. But they're the lightning rod. But they've got the no-move clause. They earn the no-move clause. And if they don't want to go anywhere, they're right. not going anywhere. So the manager has a fight with a, the best player, and the coach gets fired. That's how this all ends. But he'd have options next year. Too. Oh, we all have <laughs> yeah. plenty of options. Yes, Tom McClellan's very well thought of through the National Hockey League. And it's going to be interesting because there's a lot, whether it's Mike Babcock, whose future is uncertain because he wants it to be, or Todd McClellan, there are a lot of really good coaches potentially on the market. Interesting you summer. mentioned because only two teams have advanced to the postseason, the last 10 postseasons, the Red Wings, Babcock, and the Sharks.